Hey, what's going on guys? It's Chum here and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Sun Nuzlocke. As you guys can see today, we are kicking off exactly, literally the exact same spot. I have not moved an inch from where we were last episode and today uh, we're going to continue on through Executor Island after having saved Lily from the gigantic towering palm tree that is Executor. So let's make our way over there and of course we can't get an encounter because we did end up catching that Executor. And here you go, Lily is here, she ran out on her head, and now it started raining. Oh no! Oh, it started to rain. It did. I'm, I'm glad she noticed. If she didn't notice, it'd be a bit strange. Into the cave we go. I, I love this little exchange, I think it's really great. It's like, it didn't need to happen, but they did it to actually kind of develop, the, literally for character development in, in like, you know, this kind of, like, I guess relationship stuff? Not really, but like the bonds that you form and stuff like that. Anyway, let's really do it. Rain in Alola, huh? My skirt got a bit wet. Looking out at the rain like this reminds me of one of the, the this one time when I was little. I'd seen it in a movie. This man singing and dancing in the rain. It captivated me so much I had to try it for myself. My mother spotted me out in the rain and she was so shocked that she ran right out after me without even bothering to get an umbrella. And then she smiled and danced with me in the rain. Of course, we both ended up catching a cold. She let me sleep in her big. She let me sleep in her big bed with her. I was so lucky. I was like, lucky. What? What? I was so happy that I kept waking her again and again just to make sure it wasn't a dream. But then she changed, and all she thinks about was the Ultra Beast, and Null and Nebby. They both ended up suffering so much I couldn't do anything. But you know what, chum? Whenever I feel like there's nothing I can do, you seem to show up and you do something. Every time, you've shown me that it's possible to do something. Even the first time we met, Nebby was being attacked and all I could do was look, at, look on in horror. And did Aether Paradise? All I could do was wait for you and the others to save me. Whenever I'm in any sort of trouble, you're always there. I... She's gonna say it! Uh, chum? <laughs> what are you gonna do once you finish your island challenge? Well... I'm gonna end the, the series. What do you reckon? We're going to get stronger. That's my goal, to get stronger, to be the very best. It, might, it must be nice knowing what you want to do. I really admire that. I think I'd like to become a trainer too and travel together with you, chum. I would like that too. You should, you should do that, Lily. It sounds like a great idea. You should do it. I would love a Pokemon game where you actually have a companion who is with you the entire time. Like, you don't have to double battle all the time and stuff like that like you would whenever you have a companion following you. But I feel like it'd be a lot of fun to see that kind of thing happen. Either way. Ah. That's gonna be the thumbnail, guys. <laughs> Just Lily looking up at the sky with the biggest smile on her face. Maybe there really are good omens sometimes, wouldn't you say? Actually, this is gonna be a pretty fire episode because of what's about to happen. So maybe there'll be a better thumbnail, but we'll see. We'll see. I really want to put it, because actually funny, the episode, the previous episode with Lily and her big ass uh, face when she was like first in Z-powered form, I put that as a thumbnail, and that video, that, that episode of the series I think has the most views of any other episode, I'm just like, yo, everyone loves Lily, L literally everyone loves Lily, just slap her on the thumbnail and everyone's like, ooh, I'm interested, it's great, either way, either way, uh, actually, now that, we're, now that we're kind of doing nothing, I want to ask you guys, you know how she asked, she was like, oh, do you want to get stronger or do you want to fill the Pokedex? So what I want to know from you guys is, when you finish the game, right, so this is literally her question, do you prefer to go out and catch every single Pokemon and complete the Pokedex, or do you start uh, breeding up battle-ready Pokemon and take on the battle tree or battle online? Like, which of those things is kind of more important to you? For me, definitely, it's the battling online. I haven't even started trying to fill out my Pokedex. In fact, when I went through my first playthrough, I was just, not really ignorant, but I was just like, I kind of seebs catching everything because I'm going to have to catch them all again anyway, so I might as well not worry about it. So I kind of put myself at a little bit of a disadvantage, but we should be fine. Either way, let me know what you want to do or what you have been doing in the comment section below. What is most important to you? Getting stronger, battling and doing that sort of stuff, or just going out and catching everything and being uh, the Pokemon master that you want to be. You know, let me know. Either way, chum. Yo, it's the sun flute. I will take the flute. What if I said no? Would it be like, all right, game ends? Now we have both the sun flute and the moon flute. I don't know if it really, if it will really summon the legendary Pokemon, but we can at least try. If nothing else, we'll have Sound of the Flutes in offering like people used to do. So thank you for coming this far with me, chum. Let's go meet the chief of the Sea Folk and get back to Pony Island. 
The island is literally tiny. He's, he's literally right there. Very, very, very tiny island, guys. Very tiny. Look at you, Chargoa. You going to the altar to play the flutes? Honestly, that island is probably as big as Executor. Like, it's a tiny island, but Executor's a big Pokemon, so they're probably like the same size. The altar lies all li bleh, 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 bleh. the altar lies all the way through the vast Pony Canyon. It's a long road there. I'm still kind of talking like Lily. It's a long road there. The path is like nature's own trial. Good luck to you, friends. And why don't you stop by to tell Hapu that you're off before you go? Okay, there probably won't be any kind of uh, uh, better thumbnail than Lily's face, just because we're about to go through the um, the quote unquote. Uh, Vast Pony Canyon. I, I don't know why I put that in quotes, but yeah, we're gonna go through the Vast Pony Canyon, which of course is gonna be a trial and a half. Either way, let us heal up. I don't think we need to because I, I think I used a potion on one on like the one Pokemon that had damage on him, and then he never battled again. In fact, last episode there were like next to no battles. If like I'm pretty sure Executor was it. I don't think there was any other battle. It was all story stuff, which I'm fine with. I don't know if you guys are fine with it, but I'm fine with it. I'd love to see some story happening. Either way, I think we're good to go. I think let's not run into this random little log in our way. And let's make our way to Vast Pony Canyon and power through. You can't go that way, right? Yes, you cannot go that way. Don't battle me. Thank you. Don't battle me. Thank you. Don't battle me. Thank you. Don't, oh, whoops. That was my own fault. I could have easily avoided that grass. But what is this? Wait, hold on. No, I don't get an encounter. We've been here before like three times. What am I talking about? Don't be drizzle. Don't do it. Don't do it. My boy. My boy. Let me get away. Thank you. I know you're a lot faster than me. That was a bit dangerous. But we're not that weak defensively, so it's fine. All right, let's do it. And I believe we just ignore the hole. Let's tell Happy and go straight to the canyon. Oh, no. It's Team Skull. The fact that there's only one girl kind of tilts me. It'd be better if they had symmetry. You're from Team Skull. What is it that you want from us? Here they come. I heard about you numbskulls at Ether. Do you really know a way to save our boy Guzma? We can make you talk, even if you have to cut even if we have to cut you to the bone. Dude, I'll destroy all of you. That's a very um interesting camera angle that they did there. I liked it, it was really cool. It was not what you usually see, so I... Uh, very cool. I liked it. Anyway, let's stop making random noises, and let's battle these grunts. Do I actually have to battle all six of them 1v1? Because that's going to be so annoying, but I mean, Marowak is going to get all the experience. Like, literally every single experience point. He's going to get so many. But it's fine. I believe he's a little bit more behind than the rest of the team. And this thing's a front Mantis. Watch it die in one hit. It might not, though, because we're not... We're not that strong. We're not a thick bone strong, but we still get the KO. I love how at level 40s we're still versing people who have unevolved Pokemon. Don't please don't all of you battle me. Maybe two at most. Or maybe Plumeria can come in and stop you guys from being foolish. Okay, so you can cut me to the bone. Ouch. Here's a legged it. There we go. Plumeria is watching from above. Doesn't matter. We'll come after you with all of our Pokemon at once then. Little home slice. We'll give you 200% to save our boy Guzma. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right, I remember how this is. It's the battle where it's like, yo, if you're battling five trainers, but what do you call it? Uh, it's just, it looks like one guy with five Pokemon. I see, I like that. I like that method. It is cool. It's a cool method. We see a Salanded out here first. Are you a threat to us? Do we have a, oh, we do have a grab type move. I forget, I, I'm like forgetting what my moveset is between this Marowak and my competitive Marowak. Boomerang, let's go. It's actually pretty similar, to be honest. Apart from, like, typing-wise, apart from the moves not being in the right, the specific right moves. How dare you poison me, you fool. Dead. You're not even going to live one of those hits. I could have mud-slapped you and killed you with your defense and weakness. Oh my goodness. Either way, we don't want Mogwai to stay in here getting poisoned to death. So, we'll bring in someone else. And in fact, I feel like I want to bring in um, one of these fools. But do you have moves for this thing? Yo, you have Sucker Punch. Let's go. I believe I want to. I want to train up these level 35s and make them at least level 40. At least, make make them at least only five levels behind, not 10. It's a bit too much. Uh, but a sucker punch you do a lot of damage. 
In fact, it might even kill because Glitterpot is a monster. It does not kill. It's kind of unfortunate. We see a Shadow Ball here. Can we take it or will we get Emergency exited out? Wow. That did a lot more damage than I expected. I, I mean, I get that there's a massive level difference, but still, that was a bit too much. Uh, let's get let's get Snowflake some uh, screen time because we haven't seen Snowflake in a while. And Snowflake is is literally our hero. Snowflake is amazing. Let's go for a hex. I have no idea what the move looks like, so I'm curious. Not a bad animation. I like it. I'll take it. And then, so Puberty gets a level. That's good. Iron Defense. How about no? I'm never going to use that. Marini. Poison Water. Mudbra. Why not? We'll go for that EQ. And then... Will destroy it so. I still haven't bred my uh, competitive talk specs. I've literally had a Marini with hidden ability for a long time, and I still haven't done it. I don't know why. I just I'm just not as enticed to use a Pokemon like Marini. While I want to have one that's really stally and really defensive, I, I'm not ever enticed to use it. So I haven't bothered to breed it. Uh, but still, it's a very very good Pokemon. But I've always been the kind of guy who likes the fast and powerful, which honestly is kind of like boring and mainstream. Do you have a good move? No, you don't. Uh, you have Brick Break, though. I mean, we have Double Kick. We'll just stay in. I know Mudbrot doesn't need the experience because he's a highest level by quite a bit. But, I mean, there's no point switching out. We can just be like, Double Kick, Bam, Done, Double Edge. Whoa. Maybe I should have switched it. Actually, no. I shouldn't have gone into Marowak because this thing's a Dark type. So it was a good play that we stayed in. Uh, because if it went for, like, Crunch or something, that would have done a lot of damage to Marowak. And I would not have been okay with that. Do you have any more? Is that... That's why you... Four Pokemon, right? Maybe three? Golbat is here. Last Pokemon. Let's give it to Snowflake. Because we have the Ice Beams. And the Ice Beams put in the finest. In fact, actually, last episode, when we were battling that other person and I used uh, Ice Beam, in my head, because I've been playing with my uh, competitive Ninetales so much, I thought I used Blizzard. And I was like, oh, I might miss my attack. I shouldn't go for Blizzard again. And I went for extra... Uh, oh, Sorry, um, Dazzling Gleam, without even realizing that Ice Beam is not, uh, is, is not Blizzard and it cannot miss. Regardless, Extra Sensei will get rid of this Gold Bat, and that's these Team Skull Grunts done and dusted. Could you imagine if the game made you fight five Team Skull Grunts that all had five Pokemon? Literally like an Elite Four of Fools. That'd be great. But Elite Five. Foolish Five? Yes, that's, how we're, that's what we're calling it. I'm not giving up, even though you beat me. I'm part of Team Skull. We're thick as anything. That's enough. No one wants to see a sore loser. Yo, Plumeria talking trash. So much, so much cinematicness in this game, guys. It's amazing. Hmm. You, girly. Lily, right? She didn't even say anything. She was like, I don't, I'm going to respond to you. You really ready to, to finally to do this finally? Words. To be honest, I've treated you really badly. Even if I was doing the work the president told me to do, I shouldn't have done all that. Even if I apologize now, I know it's probably too late for you to forgive me though. I feel like Lily's probably a pretty forgiving person. See, Guzma, he really likes the president. She's the only adult who ever seemed to see how strong he was. The president, my mother is, she's selfish. She lavishes her love only on those she deems worthy, not caring whether or not it's wanted. But I will save her. I still have something I need to tell her. And I think I can save Guzma as well. You know, deep down, you're kind of like the president. You've gone in a different direction, but I can tell you have the same strength in your convictions. Bring back Guzma, if you can. I know you've got no reason to help, but no one can make up for what they've done if they're gone. I'm very happy about this whole conversation. And you, chum. I didn't read that before hitting A. You didn't stand up to Team Skull. You even took on the darkness inside Ether. Looks like you're the real deal. The realest Pokemon trainer I've ever seen. Take good care of our little princess here. Our little princess. Interesting. This is my way of saying sorry, okay? Take it. It's the poison poison EMZ. Alright. I don't think anyone on our team can use that. Oh yeah. You got your first stone directly from Tapu Koko, didn't you, chum? You better take care of it. That's one special Z-ring you got there. 
A trainer is only a trainer because of the Pokemon with them. If you ever forget that, you'll bring on the wrath of Tapu down him Tapu down upon yourself. You should be fine though. I'm out of here. Honestly, that having actually read that out loud, it's such an interesting monologue from Primaria. Cause she's not really that big of a character in the game. She only has like two or three times. And yet she has this big dramatic monologue about how Lily's a great person and how you're a great Pokemon trainer. Really crazy, either way. I suppose even Team Skull is not all bad. Thanks for helping me, chum. And here, let me thank your team too. Alright, we're getting healed up. We're getting what I like to call the Lily treatment. That was the weirdest thing I've ever said. One of the weirdest things I've ever said. The vast pointy canyon lies ahead of us. Let's go! At uh, I... I kind of feel like I want to put someone else out front. I'm going to put Puberty out front. Why? Because he... Can, whoops. I forget how to switch Pokemon. Wow, I'm, I'm bad. We're going to put Puberty out front because he... Not, not he. She... Uh, she has EE, so she can emergency exit out of here if I need it. And I hope she won't die in one hit to anything. It could happen. I just hope not. Look at this giant tree. This not even giant, not even giant. I'm just I'm just saying random things to pass the 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 speechless cutscenes that happen in this game. Hapu, I'm here. What's up, fam? Oh wait, I think I'm about to battle her. Damn it, I'm not ready for this mentally. Did everything go well? Yes, it did. Though Chum had to help me out of all sorts of trouble, like usual. Nothing wrong with that. People cannot survive all on their own. They have to go get help. They have to help one another out. Same for Pokemon too. This is what my grandfather used to say. I was about to mimic the noise and I rem remembered what I always tell myself. And don't mimic Pokemon noises. I would like to see the, this battling skill of yours, chum. That makes L Lily smile so. Oh no. The Cahoon is going to battle me. Just so. It is my grand trial. I may be young, but that does not mean I will be outdone by any of those other kahunas. I am certain that my bonds with Mudzell and the rest of my team are the closest you will find anywhere in Alola. Do you want to take on my, me and my Pokemon at our full strength? I need you to take on mine. I am Kahuna Hapu. I have made the sparkling stone with the tap that the Tapu entrusted me into a Z-ring of my own. Having a Z-ring like we do, chum, that means we battle with the Tapus beside us. This is the first grand trial of Kahuna Hapu. I will battle you with everything I've got. Alright guys, so this battle is probably going to take the rest of the episode. Right now we're sitting about about, about 18 minutes. So you can round that to 20. And it's, right, okay. The funny story about last episode. I was saying how I want to keep my episodes down below like 30 minutes. And yet I was like, oh, we have a little bit of time left. We can go to Executor Island. And I completely, completely, completely forgot... This might be a bad idea, but we're going to see what happens. Sucker Punch. We won't get EE'd out. We're great. We didn't get EE'd out. All the damage. All the demand. Oh, wait. Wait, watch this. Wait, watch this. The pro plays. Oh, it didn't Sucker Punch. Don't kill me. That's still resisted. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, good. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. But anyway, back, back on topic. In the last episode, I was saying, uh, what do you call it? I was saying that I want to keep the episode short, and yet I fool. You could say foolishly. This thing can't hurt me, right? But I don't have any good moves for you, right? No, that's not worth it. Uh, we'll just go into. No, who do we go into? Mudbra is like our only option here. But yeah, I was saying I like to keep my episodes short, but when doing the like episode length calculation in my head, I was just looking at how long I had been recording for. I completely forgot to um, add in the time that I had been, um, what's that word? Add in the time that I had to add in for the grinding montage. So instead of making the episode a couple minutes over 30 minutes, I, like accidentally of course, I ended up making the episode like almost 40 minutes, you know, classic me. And in fact, when I hadn't left the, ta the, the Pony Island Ruins, I really should have ended the episode. It would have been like a nice 29, 30 minutes, but no, I messed up, as usual. But today, today we're on track. We're, in, we're 20 minutes in. There should be absolutely no reason that that number is wrong, apart from the fact that there's like 30 seconds of recording before I actually start saying, hey, what's going on, guys? It's Chum here. But uh, obviously that's for syncing purposes. What did it say is coming out? I have no idea. We're going to go into Snowflake, because Snowflake's a boss and can kill anything. 
It's probably going to be a ground type. Her thing is a ground type, right? Yo, if she uses the ground type even for me, I'm going to end my life. Oh, wow. Literally the worst Pokemon I could send out. Oh, wait, no, hold on, hold on. Can Chlora live an attack? Because if Chlora can live an attack against a level 4, Jesus Christ. Maybe I should have been more careful. Don't do it. Muddy water, we resist. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Moment of truth. Does Chlora outspeed? We're going to find out. Nope. But it used the same move again, so it's fine. This won't kill us, even if it's a critical hit. If it's like a super critical hit, then we die. But that sort of thing in the game, so it's fine. The blade go. Wow. That's four times damage, and it did that little. But we're committed. We're going to get Chlora this KO. Because I, I want Chlora to be like the main... One of the main members of the team. In fact, I remember when I first like caught uh, Clora as a Fromantis, I was like, yo, I would love to add you to the team, but I have Decidueye. So now that Decidueye is no longer around, I really want to use this thing. Leaf Blade, go! Muddy Water again is fine. I'm glad. I'm glad this person isn't switching their move up, because I'm pretty sure an Earthquake would kill me from here. But we're fine. This should go. Do not miss. Thank you. And down goes the Gastrodon. Guys. Did you guys ever play Pokemon Stadium and Stadium 2 and stuff like that? Or even like Battle Revolution? Because in those games, I remember way back when, I used to love the announcers who would be like, um, who would obviously, you know, announce and commentate the battle. Because they were always so funny. And one of my favorite things is one time I was battling a friend of mine. This is literally when I was like, probably 7 or 8 years old. So I'm nice and powerful 13 years ago, maybe. Uh, we have Flygon here. We're actually going to read what's coming out. We're going to Fluffy. Because we haven't seen Fluffy. Actually, no, we're going... We're We'll do Snowflake, we'll do Snowflake, we'll do, we'll do Snowflake. Um, but yeah, like 13 years ago, I had a Raichu, and I used Thunder. And the, the announcer's thing that he said, he yelled out, THUNDER, as I hit the Pokemon and killed it, right? And then, the next Pokemon comes out, and I use Thunder again, and it's literally the exact same move, and the announcer yells, WHAT'S THAT? And I'm just like, and me and my friend look at each other, we're just like, he literally just yelled thunder. He saw it like two seconds ago. I used to love those kind of announcers. And of course, the reason I brought this up was when I was like, and down goes the Pokemon. Because that's the same thing that he would say. But normally it's like, and there goes the battle. Yo, do you guys want to see Pokemon Stadium on the channel? I really want to do it. Actually, is Pokemon Stadium even... Um, I have to say in here, and I don't want to. I don't have to say anything, I'm lying. We're gonna go into Fluffy and hopefully, because uh, the reason I don't want to say anything is I don't want to usually heal up and let it go for a free attack, and I don't want to not heal up and potentially die to a Mudsdale. So we're gonna go for the Play Rough. I'm actually not taking this battle seriously enough because it is definitely a threatening battle. Yo, her Mudsdale is the same level as my Mudsdale, don't have stamina. Mm. No! How can I forget something so blatantly obvious? It's like, it's literally a fact that that thing gets that move. It's Mudsdale being Mudsdale from here. I have the Phytinium Z, man. I'm, I'm going to destroy you. You're at plus one thing, and I don't even have stamina. But there's no way you can kill me, right? There's no way. Absolutely no way. Die, 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 wow, whoa. Okay. I might have to sack someone off here. I'll definitely leave this attack. But I can't switch in nine tails for free. The question is, who do I want to sack off? It's not going to be Mogwai. It's one of these two. And honestly, I think it's going to be, it's going to be this man. Because Chlora is so much more necessary and to, like in a in a in a competitive battle, emergency exit is great, but in in game, I don't think it. Boy, am I glad I didn't switch in Nine Tails. Either way, guys, we're gonna watch pu puberty get destroyed by Tectonic Rage. I've actually only seen this move twice, and both times have been battling with Hapu. I have never used it myself. I have never seen anyone use it online, but it is such a beautiful looking move. Oh my goodness. Either way. Nine Nine Tails comes in. 
We definitely at speed, and there's no way on earth this thing lives in ice beam at this range. There's absolutely no way. It's plus, it, it's plus, not plus two, it, it's it's super effective. Please go down. I love seeing my my trainer put his hand out and be like, attack nine tails. Um, behind as you like him. That looks really cool. Either way, we end up surviving this battle, and honestly, we are literally right back where we were two episodes ago. With only four members of the team, but this time, our four members are even lower leveled. Oh my goodness. Not lower level, but like, before we had four around 40, now we have three around 40 and one lower. So, yeah. Oh, you sure showed me. That was enjoyable. Looks like I cannot beat, even, beat you even when I'm not holding back. I appreciate this chance, chum. It really taught me a few things. Take your ground type Z crystal. The ground DMZ is yours. I, I can't believe I just did that. I was so carefree in that battle that I think my foolishness might have let two Pokemon die. So, yeah, that's bad news. I'll admit, though, I'm definitely glad I didn't go out into Ninetales and went into, into into Fluffy before Ninetales. Because had Ninetales hit, got hit by a Heavy Slam, I would have ended my life. It would have been horrifying. I, I, like, I would have had to just pause for a second. The episode would have ended right there. Either way. I will teach you the pose too, so eyes up here. I actually like that pose. I think the funniest one is definitely the, the fairy one. Because like, you train this with this, this, like, this thing. Which I'm like, is that meant to be like a heart thing? Because if so, that's hilarious. But I don't know. Either way. Phew. Well, I must really applaud you, Lily. You sure found a, pro a prodigious trainer to befriend. I believe. We're about to go in to the boss point canyon then go on with you two what then go on with you two straight ahead through here you'll find the altar the altar to the the lake of sun yes the part of the shrine is through the canyon you will find other trains in this place though they come for training it will be a tough road you will have to pitch in too lily but if you do if you two end up in in real trouble mudzell and i will hasten to you i like that but I am in trouble now because you killed two of my Pokemon. Thank you, Happy. I'll do my best. Alright, leave. Leave, you fool. I'm, I'm done with you. You killed two of my Pokemon. I can't believe I let that happen. I can't believe I let that happen. Either way, what we're going to do real quickly before we continue on with Lee waiting at the gate. We're going we're gonna to go over to the, to the Pokemon Center. And we're going to chuck these two in the box. And then we'll call it an episode. I, I really can't believe I let that happen. I mean, I really wish I didn't have to sacrifice puberty, and uh, maybe I didn't need to bring Mudsdale in when I did, but I couldn't risk it. I had to attack it with something else. I couldn't risk Ninetales not killing. It would have been too, way too scary for that to happen. Either way, let's hop onto the PC and let us chuck Fluffy, not in box one, Fluffy, and oh, you know what I should have done? I should have I should have sacked off Flora because we do at least still have a, a Grass type, but it's fine. You don't have a single Dragon type move. You failure. Uh, but we'll grab we'll grab uh, we'll grab Canopy because I love this. Like look at that. Its head's not even on screen. It's so beautiful. Can I actually get you to it? I can't get you attack. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to see something. I want to check something because it's gonna be in the bottom screen, right? Oh, he's, his whole body's there though. No fun. Either way, that's one Pokemon added to our team. Who else do we want to add? I feel like. I want to catch a new Pokemon. Oh, we're going to get a new Pokemon in the in the cave anyway. But just for now, I think we'll add... Jerry? Well, we'll put, we'll put Jerry back for now. He could come in handy at some point. And just for OCD purposes, we'll fix that up. Alright, so we heal our Pokemon. Our team is looking... Just... I don't have words, guys. We're losing a lot of Pokemon. And it's really funny because I, I I had said from the beginning like I don't like not I said but I've been thinking at the beginning this wouldn't be as hard as the Pokemon X Nuzlocke because I don't have the battle style set to switch oh, sorry I don't have it set to set which means every time they change Pokemon it tells me and I get to switch to whatever has the advantage and yet somehow because of how difficult they've made this game I still have a little bit of trouble with it which I think is great I love a challenging Pokemon game either way guys. That'll bring us to the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. And of course, if you guys want to see more episodes from this series in the future, as well as a lot of other videos, a lot of other series on Pokemon Center Moon, including Wi-Fi battles, battle spot, that sort of fun stuff, make sure you hit that subscribe button also. And finally, I hope you have a 
wonderful day.